Hey, what's up, my dudes? So, uh, we're on part two of this build. I'm, I'm calling it Burnt Toast. If you're wondering why, go watch part one, and that's why. But um, we're having parts that are starting to roll in, which is really good. Um, what's kind of annoying is, I don't, I'm pretty sure all y'all going through this. Shit's on back order. This shit's taking forever to ship. This shit's taking forever to get here. And it's kind of slowing me down. Um, but I got stuff to keep me busy, but it's slowing orders down, which is a little annoying. But um, so we've got part one. We got this whole sucker. We took it for a test drive, and I showed you what should work with. So um, go check that out. But our goal today is to clean this cab. It ain't exactly the cleanest. It's a little toasty still in here. Hence, that's why I call it burnt toast. Um, I think I decided we're gonna take this and throw it out because it's got smoke shit all over it, and I bet that's what's keeping a little bit of the smell in here. Um, it doesn't smell that bad, but you know, if you're there's something in here, a little burnt, it's probably gonna be this. And then I want to, I'm gonna run to Home Depot and get a bunch of stuff so we can clean this cab. I'm gonna try to clean it my best, and then I'm gonna inspect all the wiring harnesses, make sure nothing's toasted, and I think all the harnesses are good. So I don't see any big problems. I just want to make sure that the dome lights wiring is still good and the speaker stuff. So um, the speakers did come in and the sound dinner came in. So let me take you to the garage. I'm gonna show you the cool parts of what we're gonna be working with today. So I'll be right back. Is sound deadener and I want to get the doors and the speakers all done. So we got our door panels right here. Um, they do have the auto auto switch. So we need to get the correct switches going in here. Um, I like to do my VSM mods on the 02 to 04 trucks. So uh, we're gonna have to do that on the locks. Now I do have YouTube videos if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I do have those on here. And then uh, he wants the full power mirror harnesses. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully I can get it all done today. But I really wanna get the doors wrapped up and start laying the deadener down. So that's our goal. So let me go ahead and see if I can uh, have a buddy come over and help me. And then gotta get this cab cleaned and then set up the doors and the speakers and then start laying some dead. That's my goal today. I don't know if I'm gonna get it all done. Hopefully we do. I'm gonna lie, I spent a couple days cleaning this. It's, I was hoping to have all this stuff done this a, that afternoon. No, after a couple days of cleaning, we are going through shit. Here we are. So, all right, check it out though. Looks a lot better. Uh, let's see if the light to focus, but um, Got most pretty much all the smoke out. I mean, th this corner was pitch black when we started, so um, it's looking a lot better. It was all across the roof. Um, got that going um, and everything. So, it, it, man, it was even on the front windshield all across right here on this on the support beam. But you might still be able to see a little bit on there. But uh, yeah, that smoke got everywhere. I mean, it was even in the doors to see, you could see where it was up in here, even made it through the door panels, uh, made it up on here on the paint. So I'm not sure what I want to do about this paint stuff yet. Uh, so we're just gonna leave that for now. But I'm glad we got it all clean. The back window looks good and everything. So um, right now what I want to start on is um, the basic easy stuff. So I want to start getting these doors ready for 08, the 16 stuff. So the first thing I want to mess with is the window switches. I want to make sure all the window switches are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to need an additional green plug. So I'm going to go give me another green plug to replace this gray one. Repin both of these and, and make sure the windows are working. Once we got those going, I'm going to go ahead and make my custom little VSM lock. So that's where I take an old lock and a new lock, chop them up and make one lock that looks new, but plugs in the old way. So then we'll, got, then we'll test the locks. Once we got the locks done, um, I want to do the tweeters and the speakers, maybe. And then maybe the mirrors. Because the mirrors, we're doing full power mirrors, so that's a project. So, but right now, let's start on the easy stuff, and then uh, we're going to do the door cups, and then the uh, correct window seals, so we'll have those set up. And then uh, we got to delete this little dome light doohickey thingy. Got to get rid of that, because the new panels don't use that. So, we got a good list of stuff. So, I want this video just to be cleaning and door panels. So let me go ahead and get a pigtail, and we can get started. Okay guys, back on the workbench. So, um, the, he's got the platinum door panels and you can see he's got these auto autos. Um, if you don't know about that, I do have more detailed videos on this, but you do need to modify these to get them to work. Actually, you need to totally ditch this and get the correct window switch. And then you need to modify this guy to get it to fit in the housing correctly. And then this being an 02 to 04, we can't cut and splice. So uh, I'm doing the VSM mod 
on these two so that we can get that going so and then uh, all my other door things i got this little bin that i use so right here i got a correct window switch see how it only has one single auto so that clicks in just fine that's a direct swap easy peasy now for the locks i do need a set of old locks so basically putting the old locks in the new gut or the old guts in the new housing so that'll take care of the locks and then you got to do the same thing for this so we need an exact replica of the back ones just a normal window switch like this and we're gonna put these guts inside this housing but with this face i got i got videos on this too if you want more details so i'm just gonna zoom right through it and show you a finished product and then we're gonna need some door cups got four door cups and then we need our new window seals and then we're ready to party so heck yeah all right guys let me go ahead and take care of all this let me get it all buttoned up and then uh we'll go out to the truck repin the, the driver harness and ready to go okay guys so i got my switches all squared away we got my locks squared away so you know they look new on the outside but they plug in so i got the epoxy drying on them i like the epoxy because then they don't accidentally come apart or anything you know worst to worst if it fails you can just unplug it pull it out and replace it and we got our window switch in this so i'm gonna go over to the truck i'm gonna repin it then we're gonna test these bad boys so heck yeah we'll be right back okay guys so now i pulled them all out pulled the old plugs out all right these are the old plugs gonna run the new plugs uh the only difference between these two blue ones uh they do the exact same thing um they just have different push levers so this one's easier to click out than that one that's it the same things but it's really you need this eight pin green one over this six pin gray one so this is the money maker right here so let me go ahead i'm gonna go pin by pin using my wire guide and get this bad boy going and then uh we'll be able to test it so heck yeah okay guys went ahead and grab the switches out of the garage now you do need to have every window switch in all the windows for them to be working so like if i took that switch out that window won't work at all all the other ones will but that one won't so if you guys are wiring up your windows make sure your switches are in the in the plugs because it goes through the plug or i mean through the switch to the window motor so if you ain't got no switch in there it just the circuit stops so um so now we've got these repinned now we go ahead and run our our fancy new one so let's see if i can get this in there there's one but, oh, this one might have to there's two so let's see oh yeah boy yeah boy yeah uh oh i'm gonna have a wire Hey, there's something might be wrong with this switch. So this is why it's always good. See, look, I'm having issues with this. But then I come here. And my switch wiring is correct. So let me go grab a different switch. Maybe this one's got a problem. So let me go swap this out. So I'm not gonna lie, guys. So uh, I have some guys that buy my wired guide and they're like, this shit doesn't work, dude. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I checked the wires a hundred times. It's not working. It's not going to that. Uh, 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 you know, they start crying. It could be the switch, man. Just like this. So, switches break. Shit breaks. Shit happens. So, let me go grab another switch and hopefully that's our issue. Alright, so we're having a problem with this one. Let's see all the other ones work. This one. This one's giving us issues, so sometimes that'd be the problem. Check this out. New one. Now the problem child. Look at that. Problem fixed. Right there. So switches blue break, guys. So if you have any issues wiring stuff, man, double check your switches. So these three other doors all use the same switch. So if you're having a problem on one door, maybe swat, switch the switches around, you know, process elimination, figure out which one of these bad boys is bad. Cause it does happen, I'd say maybe one out of 10 switches I do, a switch is bad. So the more you know. All right, and now we got our fancy locks, the little VSM mod, that's what I call it. So I didn't have to modify it. Oh shit, you're here and working. So I don't have to modify anything on here. It's all stock. So basically we're just changing the cosmetics really. And I did ch switch out the aqua LEDs in here. So we should have lock, unlock. Yeah, they're working. Heck yeah. 
Let's see. One more time. Unlock. Lock. Heck yeah. So, easy peasy with the locks. Now all I have left to do is the mirrors. Now these mirrors are going to get a little tricky because he wants all the fancy stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Um, I just chop them and, and cap them off and then retape them. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that on both doors. And then uh, I think we can start putting sound deadener on these bad boys. So, heck yeah. All right, guys. So, when I'm doing the sound deadener, uh, I like to take everything off the door. I have guys that try to save a couple bucks to do the dead in there themselves and they just totally half-ass it and make my job a lot harder. You know, they, they'll put the dead in there over the wires and then it's coming up over the window and uh, folded back here and doing, you know, dumb stuff to where I can't access anything I need to. So what I like to do is remove everything I can off the door so the door is butt naked and then go from there. But we're putting new door latches in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these door latches out because then I can, Pull the harness out all the way through, pull the harness out of here, and then tuck the harness down in the door. Tuck that away. So then we don't have any harness showing, and then maybe pull this off, get these little clickers, and then uh, the door will be completely butt naked. So let me get it butt naked, I'm gonna show you the next step I do before I lay the deadener. Another uh, little tip and trick, if you're worried about breaking these little dudes, you grab a little pair of pliers, you squeeze it, push them in there and voila didn't even break it and now we can reuse that bad boy for later so the more you know so i try not to break any clippies and then like for these guys i like to use my little pickle fork now that's the way to go so let me get crack a lacking i'll be right back jesus christ i just had the weirdest freak accident so i pulled this one out and i was holding the harness like this and my finger slicked back on this piece of plastic I slipped my finger wide open. Holy shit. Careful what you do, boys and girls. I never thought I'd be cut by a plastic little clippy. Little cock pee 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 pee. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. That sucker's deep. Okay, guys. So now that I got everything out. Uh, we got the old latch out and actuator. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put uh, new ones off of 6 7 off of. Uh, I don't have them with me. It's supposed to be something for later, but. If you're doing the new six seven latches you need to use your old door jar switch okay whatever truck you got make sure you swap out the major door jars so we're gonna put in the new actuators because this old style ones tend to fail pretty common so we're gonna swap those out so basically we're just gonna use the mechanics off of this one like that and stuff and everything so got everything pulled off the door got her all butt naked pretty much so uh, what I do is I take a picture so that when I lay the whole deadener over there, I know where all the holes are at and I can reference off my phone of the picture where the holes are at. So other than that, um, I'm gonna go ahead, tear apart all the other four doors and then uh, we can start laying deadener. And then I wanna start the, uh, the tweeters and maybe the mirrors, so heck yeah. Okay guys, so got all the doors butt ass naked, so ready for dinner so got my dinner out uh, next part's pretty boring pretty self-explanatory you know it's sticky on one side you lay it on there heat it up and shape it so i see a lot of guys that just stick it on there call it a day but i do go get a pair of gloves i do heat it up and i do shape it to the door i shape every corner of this and run my hands across it everywhere so you know, i'd say it'd probably take me at least an hour per door so I mean, I'll spend a half a day, at least a half a day, just, just sound deadening these doors. So I'll do this and then I'll probably put some on this outside layer too. So I got my work cut out for me. So I'll be back guys. So let me, let me get crack -lack. And honestly, I'll probably be back tomorrow. <laughs> so let me get to work and let's see how far I get just tonight. Cause it's already like 10 o'clock. So I right, what's up my dude. So it's a new day, we're back at this. So uh, I got this door halfway done. And my dad was like, what are you doing out there so late? I'm trying to sleep. You're shining lights up into my bedroom, which is that window right there. So I was like, God dang it. I'm like, all right, dad, I'll go work on something else in the garage. So back at it this morning. Uh, we got the door halfway done. You can see uh, it's coming out pretty good. And then uh, we're going to finish up the bottom portion. So uh, then I got my buddy Tyler coming over. Um, he's going to give me a hand. So I'm going to have him doing the rest of the dinner on the doors. While I'm going to go ahead and start getting the, the tweeters and the speakers set up. And maybe start running this body harness. So 
It's gonna be nice, because I'm not gonna lie, this deadener, it's just straight up grunt labor work. It's not rocket science, it's something anyone can do. And I'd rather be doing technical stuff while my boys doing the grunt work. So stay tuned. Um, hopefully I got some tips and tricks coming your way when we do the tweeters, so we'll be back. All right guys, so you know we wanna wire up these tweeters. So you got some on the front doors and the back doors. Um, God damn it, did it again. I grabbed the wrong one. So this one sits like that on the door and you're gonna need the pigtails for them especially the front ones the front ones really need some pigtails because they're in a tight spot and everything and they're kind of clipped in there so you really want the front pigtails but if you're like man you know the, the back ones you can work without getting pigtails but you really want the pigtails but what if you can't get them and you're like oh man what do we do i don't i can't find the pigtails they could be a real pain in the butt not a lot of trucks have the tweeters so i'm gonna let you in on a little secret that i do sometimes so if you look real close the back plugs in and clicks in to the rears so you got tweeter to tweeter so what you can do is go ahead and snip it right there and you got yourself a pigtail for the front but now you got, you know, it, it, it's raw dogging it in the back. So, show them how to wire the tweeters. Over your connector box. Go ahead and grab your two pin connector for the rears and you're set to go. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, Mr. Axel. Axel! Whatever. All right guys, check it out. So now we got our pigtail set up. So remember, these are the plugs off the back door panels that I, that I stole from the backs so we can use them for the front. So now, voila, now we have, and then uh, I used my own wire. So now I, I made a long pigtail for both sides, passenger and driver, and we're ready to party on the fronts. And then on the rears, you know, I've got my two pin connectors, made a pigtail, we're ready to party on the rear, so. Heck yeah, I got them both done. Now um, we can go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and stick them in the body and get this uh, body harness rocking and rolling. So heck yeah, tweeters done. So now we can install the tweeters in the speaker. So that's our next step. So let's go ahead and step over the truck. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna run them. Okay, so now we're on the truck side. So went ahead, uh, we got our first pigtail coming up through here. We got it coming through here, down to here. Now I'm just tapping it straight into the speaker wires. And now since we're running, so fancy alpines we don't need the plug anymore so i snip the plug off we're gonna go ahead and twist all the wires together we're gonna solder them up slide the heat shrinks up and then tape it up make it look pretty so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do for the both front ones the front ones are pretty simple because you're just going from there to there the back ones where it's gonna get a little complicated because we're gonna have to feed it through the door hinge thingy to the speaker i thank god all the speaker wire for the backs run right here but um, we're gonna need to run one tweeter wire from here all over here to all the way to there to there. So that door is the most annoying one because uh, you can't really just tap from there to there. I mean, you can, you can run the wires this way to this way and up, but I don't have anything running that way. Um, so I'd rather just run where there's already wire. So that's why I'm doing it that way. And plus I need to reroute all that wire. And then we're gonna do some more stuff, so. Let me go ahead and get these front doors wrapped up and then uh, I'll take you to the back ones and then we go ahead and put these speakers in. So, heck yeah, we're getting there. Uh, what's up guys? So uh, back in the garage. Um, so I wanted to talk about these tweeters. I get asked a lot, hey, where do you wire, why do you, or yeah, where do you wire them? You guys saw, I just tapped them straight to the speakers. Um, a lot of guys are like, man, why don't you just run, you know, another amp to run the tweeters? You know, let's get your mid highs and lows and lows and highs and that treble and the bait, you know, and all that. I think it's too goddamn much. Okay. <laughs> we don't need a thousand wires running across this truck. It's too much. It's too much. I promise you. I hate when I do these, some of these trucks and you got 10,000 stereo wires running all across the truck and you got a bulge through the carpet. You got amps freaking hiding everywhere. It's just all like, oh, this is too much. Pump the brakes, cowboy. So I try to keep it simple. That's why I wire my tweeters straight to the speakers. And the reason I do that is because Ford does that. That's exactly what Ford does. So on trucks that aren't, um, you know, you saw me, I cut the, the pigtails off the speakers because we're running the Alpines. 
Well, here's the pigtails, right? So this is your speaker pigtail. Now what Ford does, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and show you, Ford just runs a T-tap off of this and goes to the speaker and straight to the tweeter, literally replicating, I replicate what they do, basically. So they, they Ford taps straight into the speaker too. So I'm gonna show you how they do it. And you can do it this way too. I mean, honestly, I would just do it the way I do it because then you ain't gotta track down this stupid harness. So let me flip the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we got our tweeter here, right? And then you got your factory speaker plug. And if you look, um, you could try it. They, they don't plug in together, they don't. So what Ford has is this harness right here. So one end plugs into the speaker. So you unplug it from the speaker and now you plug your speaker plug into this harness. And then if you look, boom, another speaker plug. So I don't know if you noticed, so this is off the other side. They're the exact same. So now you can plug this back into your speaker. So you just basically jump in it. And then this bad boy goes up the door. And here's your tweeter pigtail. If I can get it in there. And boom, that's how Ford runs it. So that's why I literally do the exact same thing. I just make my own harness and solder it in back here because I'm not about to track down a bunch of these harnesses and just put my own Alpine one on here. That's too much work. So I just, you know, I do my own setup. I showed you how you can cut the rears off. And then you got your, your nice rears. Oh, wait, that's not it. You got your rear, no, that's not it either. Oh yeah, here it is. I guess, I don't know. One of these freaking plugs. I don't know where it went. Where the freaking, oh yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, right there. So then you got your, your front tweeter looks like that and your back looks like that. And they go together and bada bing, bada boom the more you know. So, so that's why I wire my tweeters straight to the speakers. Let's keep it simple. We don't need extra amps and wires going crazy because you got to run power to that. You got to run remotes to that. You got to run RCAs to that. And then you got to run those wires out. That's like 10,000 extra wires just for tweeters. I'm saying F that, you know, just do it how Ford does it and just tap it, tap it in. So the more you know. So all right, I'm going to end this video because I bet it's already got to be like 20 minutes long. So the next video, I'm going to say part two and a half or, or three and a half, whatever we're on, is going to be we're going to set up the back tweeters. We're going to finish the deadener and the back speakers and back tweeters and deadener and more deadener and deadener and deadener. So stay tuned for that.